Bickley and Murata. Bickley and Murata mornings. Arizona Sports, the local sports leader. Bickley Blast. Pain is a popular topic in the Valley. Fans are still swimming in it. The baseball team is dealing with it. And we're all hoping the Suns are still feeling it. And me, I'm going to have to see it to believe it. And that is because there is so much unbridled reset optimism with the Suns. It almost feels like last year never happened. There's a new coach, a new point guard, two new Olympic gold medalists, a completely re rejuvenated Bradley Beal, and a yoked up Grayson Allen. Now, GM James Jones says pain is indeed in the building from the players who were here last year. And I hope he's right. But our, inter our eternal love of this franchise makes us gullible we absolve too easily and the idea that frank vogel was the root of all round ball evil is a dangerous concept to embrace the other day book said quote you don't want to blow by last season and act like it never happened end quote but it's deeper than that the pain of failure must be a raging furnace not an inconvenience not an unfortunate memory and i hope that KD and book and the rest of the returning sons are are truly harboring a serious grudge and we all hope that Diamondbacks players will be changed forever because of that pain they felt on Monday. In the end, I just hope it's real like the kind of pain the fans in the Valley have been feeling for far too long. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't think anything I want to say stands out because um, I always knew this about these guys. Everybody competes, everybody wants to win. Uh, you talk about championships, but you really don't talk about it once the season starts, once the ball gets to bounce, I mean, because you want to build your habits every single day. But in the back of your mind, you know what the main goal is of the season, and you can tell that everybody in this locker room has that main goal. And so we're just trying to keep growing every day, stack good days, build chemistry with each other and the coaching staff, and go from there. Kevin Durant of the uh, Phoenix Suns on day two of training camp yesterday, speaking to the media, talking about this uh, team's desire to win. Interesting. Uh, obviously, everybody's got the same goal, but you don't talk about championships once the season starts. Mm -hmm. uh, and he talked about building habits, and that's something this team needs to do. I think it was one of the weak spots of last year's team was building habits. So that starts now with a new set of fresh eyes from a coaching perspective. I mean, most of that staff is brand new, mm -hmm. really outside of David Fisdale being back on, on Mike Budenholzer's bench. And that's where it starts. Uh, and, you know, Mike Budenholzer talked earlier in the week about installing the defensive mentality. And he's got very clear-cut methodologies as a coach, m styles that he wants his team to play. Hard on defense, shoot more threes, and I am really looking forward to seeing what that looks like with yeah. this team because they've got a bunch of guys that can make threes. So put it up more. Yeah, and and they need to really juice their tempo. It was one of the mm. things that we thought we were going to get with last year's Suns team because the, the, the reason why so many people were eager to wash their hands of Chris Paul was because of that. He played too slow. Yeah. And, and the coaching staff fought a constant battle. Willie Green, former Suns assistant coach, used to get into epic battles with Chris Paul about that. Push the ball. And so we thought we were going to get that uh, last year and we didn't no. So, th and that's something we'll be able to see with our eyes the volume of three point shots that's going to be um, an adjustment for everybody and everybody's going to have to be willing to do that and, and, and again I also think that I also think that it's got to be more than it, it's got to be more than just clinical. It's got to be more than just stacking good days and building good habits and, and putting in the work. There's got to be that extra kind of oomph, that extra burn that we're going to do that this year. Kind of like the burn the Celtics had last year. We're going to get this done this year. No one's going to stop us. Yeah. It's an intangible. It speaks to the pain that I'm talking about here. It, it, it is truly remarkable how this team ended last season. Some of the stuff we heard about the inner going ons of the basketball team last season. And this, th that book has been not only closed, it's been thrown out the window. Mm -hmm. It's been removed from shelves. It has <laughs> been. It's been removed from shelves. <laughs> Uh, here's, uh, Kevin Durant also speaking yesterday about what I talked about, the emphasis on defense 
from coach uh, Mike Budenholzer. Yeah, the great thing about this team is we got competitors already. We got guys that take pride in who they are as individual players. And when you have that along with a coach that's preaching uh, competition, uh, every time he brings us together as a team, uh, you know, that just, that just, yeah, that helps, you know? So we're all on the same page when it comes to that. And we got guys on this floor that's trying to establish themselves on this team and in this league all time. You know, we got a lot of stuff that we're playing for individually. And once we bring that to the team, uh, you know, coaches want to make sure we uh, we're put in the right position. Yeah, you talking about throwing the book away uh, and moving on from from the Frank Vogel year mm-hmm. in Phoenix, and I we touched on it in the splash. Frank Vogel's back in the NBA, very late in the game. He joins the staff. I don't think he's a full coach on Jason Kidd's staff, but a coaching consultant. What do you, do you make anything of that in terms of the dynamic between the Mavericks? And the Suns? Yeah, I, I, I do think so. I think there's some intentionality there. I think that obviously Jason Kidd's got a good relationship with Frank Vogel, but if you if you wanted to bring in a coach who would, would really, really be motivated to help get you to the top of the West because of who it might prevent from getting from the top of the West, yeah, I do think there's a little bit in that. I mean, why wouldn't Frank Vogel at that point in time just go, you know what, I'm good. I, I'm, I'm, I'm hanging out in Malibu for a year. Yeah. No, so yeah, I do. I actually do. I think it's, I I think there's some intentionality to it. I, I, and this is this is one of the teams now that the Suns are going to have to leapfrog. I do find it interesting though because Jason Kidd's quote on it was, "It took a lot of pleading. There was a lot of conversations. I basically had to beg him to do this." Mm-hmm. And you, I mean, the year before he joined the Suns was a year in Malibu. Well, quote, that is quote, true. Unquote, I don't think you want two out of three years on the beach if you're if you want to stay in the game. So well, okay. maybe that maybe that maybe was the there's that maybe there's that. Um, but going what? But going Frank th- Vogel can't be happy with the way the, the way this thing has ended here. Frank no. Vogel was assumed he was coming back. Yeah, Cliff Kingsbury spoke last week about no having no bitter feelings, appreciated the opportunity, uh, and it was time to move on. I guarantee you, Frank Vogel does not feel similarly he about his time with words. Phoenix. I, I totally agree. <laughs> yeah. Totally agree. And uh, your your blast also uh, the use of the term yoked up from Grayson Allen. Mm-hmm. You've inspired me. I'm going to get yoked up after the show. <laughs> oh, it's going to take scrambled gonna, eggs. Yeah. Oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> am I am I misunderstanding what yeah. you said? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching Bickley and Murata. Click to see the latest Bickley Blast and hit the button in the middle to subscribe to Arizona Sports.